Have you ever wondered why one of your React components is re-rendering? Or maybe you've seen an entire part of your tree of components getting re-rendered and you didn't understand why. We're going to take a look at exactly why React components re-render and we'll also look at some examples so it'll be very easy and very clear to know when to expect your component to render or when a part of your tree should be re-rendered. So actually, there are only two reasons why a React component will re-render. The first one is simply if the parent component re-renders. If the parent component re-renders, all children of that React component will always re-render without exception. The other reason why a React component will re-render is if its internal state changes. So that means if you know, you're using the use state hook and you change a value, it's gonna cause uh, a re-render. Or anything else that changes state, like use reducer or use context. Um, your, your state changes will trigger a re-render of that component. So let's take a look at our first example. A parent component causing a child component to re-render. So as you can see, once a parent component re-renders, it triggers a re-render in the child component and all of the children component all the way down the tree. So as you can see, we're just working our way down the tree, re-rendering. All right, now let's look at another example. In this case, we're looking at the example of state changing within a component. Um, and Actually, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. If React actually detects that the state itself has changed, then it will go ahead and re-render that component to make sure that you get the latest uh, updates um, passed through to what the user sees on the screen. So at this point, you might be wondering, uh, I've heard that this is not true or that you can prevent components from being re-rendered maybe with something called memoization. Well, the truth is, React will always follow these rules. It will always re-render all of the child components. Now, we have to then talk about what that actually means. So when React renders a component, you are returning output. Um, so like you have a return statement or, or an implied return statement and it returns JSX as output, um, which uh, React will use to actually do its internal virtual DOM diffing and, and updating to the screen. So really all that React ultimately cares about is that output. And so this is where memoization and other techniques for you know, preventing re-rendering come into play. We're not actually preventing React from saying, hey, component, uh, re-render yourself. Uh, React is always gonna do that. But what we can do is say, oh, that's great, React, no problem. I've already rendered, and I'm just gonna return the result of my previous render to you. And React is like, okay, that's fine. I don't really care how you get me the output I want. All I need is that output. And so what you can do is when React says, hey, component, re-render, you can say, ah, I already did. Here's my output. And you just throw React to your output. And so effect, the way you do that is just by returning previous output or any output instead of actually running all of your component's code again. So the rule still holds. React still asks that component to re-render itself. Now, how much work that involves, whether that just means looking up uh, output that you've already previously generated, or whether that means running through all of your component code again, is up to you. And that's where you can uh, start taking control of the rendering process itself. Thank you for joining us on this React Explainer and have a good one. Bye. Woo! <laughs>